Hi, I'm Andrew Scular from Blue Turtle Spa in San Francisco. In this segment of Sun Skincare TV, I want to talk about sunscreen myths. And there are a lot of myths out there about um, how effective sunscreen is and how to use sunscreen. I would also like you to have a look at the video um, about um, sunscreen, the critical facts, which is also on the Skincare TV channel. First off, one of the myths out there is that sunblocks will block out the sun's rays from your skin. And that is totally and utterly false. Nothing that you put on the skin in terms of sunscreens will block out the sun's rays. They are called sunscreens because they screen the sun's rays out. There's always some sun's rays, the UV rays from the sun that will penetrate the skin. The only thing that will block out the sun's rays completely will be a cardboard box and you don't want to walk around with that over your head. The FDA, by the way, does not allow manufacturers to use the term sunblock. So if any of your products actually say sunblock on them, then that is totally misleading and inaccurate and illegal on the part of the manufacturer of that sunscreen. Another myth is that SPF tells you the amount of time that you can safely be out in the sun. Well, first off, that is false because there is no safe time in the sun because nothing blocks out the sun's rays completely. So there are always sun's rays that are going to penetrate your skin. Penetration of sun's rays, the UV rays from the sun into the skin will cause aging. So it's part and parcel of the way, fact that we live on this planet. It's going to happen. We have to deal with that. And that's why we use sunscreens. Now, SPF is a term called sun protection factor. It relates to UVB rays only. Those are the rays when you're standing in the sun and you feel that warmth on your body and it's a bright day. Those are UVB rays. It doesn't relate to UVA. UVA is the ray that comes up at the time the sun rises above the horizon in the morning, goes away when the sun goes down below the horizon in the, in the afternoon. The UVA rays are there all day, every day of the year. You don't feel them. But UVB are the ones that relates to SPF. Now SPF, um, the factor that, that SPF is, relates to the amount of time that it takes your skin to turn slightly pink by being out in the sun. It's what we call a minimal erythemal dose. Er erythema is redness, okay? For my skin, it takes five minutes for me to be sitting out in the sun for my skin to start turning slightly pink, okay? Five minutes multiplied by the SPF factor. So if I'm wearing a sunscreen that has an SPF 20, five minutes times 20 gives me 100 minutes. That's the amount of time that that sunscreen can protect me in a perfect situation from turning slightly pink. After the 100 minute mark and beyond, it's too late, I'm gonna be turning pink, all right? So if you are wearing a sunscreen which is um, protecting you for a certain amount of time, you need to reapply the sunscreen before that time is up, all right? And also it depends on whether you are really sweating, if you're exercising out in the sun, if you're swimming, all those kinds of things reduce the effectiveness of the sunscreen. So SPF does not relate to safe uh, time in the sun. It relates to trying to protect you from the sun as much as possible based on your skin and the amount of uh, protection your skin needs. Another myth is that an SPF 30 gives you twice the amount of protection that an SPF 15 gives you. Now SPF 15 is the bare minimum that we recommend for anybody to have on, on a daily basis. SPF 30 actually only gives you 4% greater protection. So it's definitely not double, it's just slightly more. And that's all related to the science behind the way that SPF is developed and that term and the um, calculations involved in SPF. Another myth is that if you mix your sunscreen with your moisturizer, that is a good thing. No. Sunscreens are formulated in a way that will determine the SPF factor and will determine the level of protection your, sun, your skin can get. Soon as you add extra ingredients into that, you have negated that calculation that the sunscreen manufacturer has developed for you with that sunscreen. So sunscreens must be worn as sunscreens. Your moisturizers can go on before the sunscreen and that is uh, a moisturizer. Sunscreen should always go last. Okay. 
Another misconception or myth is that uh, if you wear an SPF 8 or lower, you will get a safe tan. Absolutely false. There is no such thing as a safe tan. A tan means that your skin is trying to protect itself from further damage because you've already damaged your skin. UV rays have already caused some level of damage and the tan, which is your melanin production, is trying to cover the nucleus of the cells to prevent DNA damage from happening further. All right. Another myth, common myth, is that darker pigmented people don't need to wear sunscreens, that they find they, they're well protected. Well, look at it this way. Every single skin type and skin color can develop skin cancers. Skin cancer is the number one cancer in the USA. Everybody should wear a sunscreen to protect themselves. And also, when you look at uh, people with more pigment in their skin, if you were to look at the exposed part of their, their skin and compare it to unexposed parts, like for instance, the arms, their face, the neck, you'll normally find a difference in color from those areas compared to areas that are not typically exposed. Now, for most people, I can say, look at the color on your butt. Now, I'm assuming that most of you are not uh, walking around naked all day out in broad sunshine. If you were to look at the skin on your butt, you will see that that is the original color of your skin, and that is the original texture and quality of your skin. All other skin typically shows levels of aging and damage from the sun. So the important thing to note is there are certain um, ways that the sunscreens will work and you need to understand how to take care of your skin by always applying a sunscreen. And the FDA definitely does not allow certain terms like sunblock. It does not allow terms like waterproof and it does not allow terms like all day protection because none of those can be complied with in terms of the ingredients used for sunscreens. The products that I have uh, selected and made available at the um, Blue Turtle Spa online shop are some of the best sunscreen products that I have found that give the best forms of protection for you. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you at Blue Turtle Spa.